The state of Florida is a special place. Not only does it offer world-class turkey hunting, but it also has a pretty unique situation with their feral hog population. Now, from the landowner or farmer's perspective, they don't like the hogs at all. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, feral hogs cause north of $2.5 billion in damage each year. We enjoy hunting them and are happy to help remove them off someone's property. So on this hunt, Kendall and I are in the swamps of Florida removing feral hogs with Justin Becker. We start our day by chasing turkeys that weren't cooperating at all, but then JB spots a group of hogs off in the distance. But lucky for us, waiting back at the truck, we've got the meat dogs chomping at the bit, ready to get after some hogs. All right, so we were turkey hunting this morning. Birds were not saying a word, so. When we were out there, we actually saw some hogs going back and forth, kind of feeding around. So instead of sitting out there and hunting birds that didn't want to cooperate, uh, we're gonna get the dogs, we brought the dogs with us, get them out there and see if we can't catch some of those hogs. Ain't that right? That is correct. A little snack. Nice little cream pie to start the morning. Mm -hmm. Drop four, catch a hog. I said fud drown. That's a Drop me a cream pie. <laughs> Plan is is to go to where we last seen the hogs. Kurt's gonna dump the box. <laughs> I'm gonna send one dog, <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. I work with you. Sure. It'd be as bad right now. They're typically the worst right there at that daylight. Look. Pray the good Lord to bless us with that bar. I can smell him now. <laughs> Kendall's got to grab him. Yeah, he did say the next one. Yeah. Baba, Baba, come here. Hogs walked all over that field, so I think the best thing is trying to get them in the woods, the direction they went. That way, there's not so much scent all over. cast it out all over the place. It's overwhelming them. They get in here and they hit that one trail. You'll know because then they'll pull out. Right. Ollie, get up. Come here. So we think they finally got it lined out. They're still moving. JB's getting the catch dog Ali bested up. You got a Picatinny rail over here? Yeah, that's where I put the tap cam. You ready, boy? He's always ready. It's hard to tell. Is, can we go through the gate right there at your yeah. camp? Yeah, yeah. Mind if we pull around there yeah. and we can get a lot closer All to right. him? Yeah. Quick work. Making a move. It's showing them caught right there it looks like it's open but we can't tell for sure we'll see florida open is a little bit different than we need garmin to um update their maps please I heard a big hog go to make a noise. Mm -hmm. When it roars. That'd be a sow or a bunch of her pigs. Oh, really? Yeah, this is basically, really? the, basically the same. 
Didn't you say that's incredibly yeah. rare? Yeah. And it don't have any ears, so it makes nope. it harder to catch with a dog. Correct. Oh, gosh. Whoa. How, how big I do you heard. think that is? I mean, she's probably close to 270, 280. Holy I don't think she might not be quite 300. Like I said, smooth, smooth belly. Is that the one you saw? Sammy, good job. You got it, girl. Yeah. All of, all of the hogs were right here. The yeah. pigs and everything. I saw the, there was a little one there yeah. under. I think one of the dogs. When we got here. Yeah, they, they are. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're on other ones right now. We'll get her tied up and go to them. So it confused you because you heard that little pig squealing? Yeah. And it's because the little pig was under her. Sammy. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like they just caught another one back there. That might be the one I get into. Yeah. It's called a giant barren sow. A no eared we gotta barren come, sow. We gotta come back and get some pics. All right, so we're going. Let's go back where we see them here a little, a little no. too big. We're going to uh, another hog they've got caught. Well, we finally got us a big one with you down here. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here, Ollie, close. come here, Ollie, come here, Ollie. All right, Kimberly, you're out the back. I'm up. Yep. Okay. Ollie, come here, buddy. Good finish to our morning for the way that it started. No yeah. doubt. We might not get a bird to gobble, but we can catch a hog. And now we got a giant pig to figure out what to do with. Yep. Here we go. Bebo. That's what you come to Florida for. Yep. Man. I'm going to try to prop her up. Okay. All right. Hey. Now what? All right. So now to essentially do the dirty work. We're gonna get this hog harvested so that way we can let Kendall drag it out by itself while we watch. <laughs> How we do that? We're gonna- Pull out a big old knife. Pull out a big old knife. But what kind of knife? A Kendall KG did. survival knife. You think it's big enough? I believe that'll do the job. <laughs> I'd get up closer to her head. Put your knee there. There you go. And then right in there. I would just put, get, her, get around, get your arm around over here. All right. Yep, there you go. And straight in? Yep, right there. Kendall just took care of business there. Big KG knife. We're gonna get this hog gutted and get it out of here back to the truck. It's gonna be a good eating hog. One, one two, two, three. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. You good? Yeah, I got it. Amen. So I figured it was better to let Kendall and JB do the heavy lifting. I don't know if y'all remember, but back a few videos ago, I showed a clip where I hurt my knee and it turns out I actually did tear my ACL and meniscus. We made it. Yes, we did. That wasn't too bad. No. It's just seven miles. Ready? One, two, two three. Nice. One, two, two three. three. What do you reckon, Kirk? It's a big one. Yeah, he is. But it's she. gonna taste. She. Nope, yeah, my bad. She's. It. But it's gonna taste great. Man, what a hunt. Not only was that a ton of fun, but it's gonna provide a ton of meat. We got the hog back to JB's house and got it on the scale. 20 to 30, roughly, depending on exactly what the weight was. So I was off about 40 or so, we'll say. 
Click on the left side of the screen to subscribe to JB and Kendall. Click on the right side of the screen to subscribe to me because there's more content on the way. Or you can watch another video right now.